Come on. I'll race you. Let's go. Come on. Just like at the end of the movies, they're racing. They're running. They're running. Woo! Hey, boys and girls. It's time to celebrate our birthdays this week. Happy birthday from GFBC Kids. Everybody. So, so if you're wondering where we are today, we're at Sayre Super That's Speedway. Right. Sayre. Sayre. <laughs> and the reason that we're here is because in K5 through 5th grade children's church, you're talking about vroom vroom vroom. vroom, right. vroom. <laughs> so we came out here today to do some videos and we hope that you enjoy them and we hope yep. that you're enjoying your lessons. Exactly. But in preschool, this week we're talking about Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane and he was so burdened and was wondering whether he had to really die on the cross and he was praying and some of his tears turned to blood and it was a very important time for Jesus to know that he was really sent here by God to die for us to forgive us of our sins. And what's neat sometimes in the raceway these guys they give their blood sweat and tears for you know a sport they love and that's what Jesus did. That's he, right. he gave up his life, his blood, sweat, and tears for you, for us, and for everyone. And it's an incredible story and what's neat in, in children's church and kids' worship. We're going to be talking about what happened a little bit after that, after Jesus prayed and he uh, did give up his life on the cross and was buried and rose from the grave three days later. He then came and visited his disciples again on the beach side, on the ocean side, where they were yes. cooking and grilling. And uh, Jesus went and talked to one specific person. He talked to all of them. And he especially came up to Peter because if y'all remember, Peter said, no, nah, Lord, I know you. I'd never turn my back on you. And Jesus said, after the rooster crows, you're going to deny me three times. Yes. And after that, though, Jesus came and talked to him. And what did Jesus do? He asked him three questions. Mm -hmm. And after each question, Jesus forgave him and told him how much he loved him. And so that's what we're going to be talking about, how, how love forgives. And uh, we should always forgive others yes. and uh, always show love no matter what happens no matter what. or what anybody does. Even when you're on the raceway and somebody bumps you back drafts you, all that That's sort of right. stuff that I don't know, but no, he knows about it. But man, you hit somebody in the wall, they are not happy sometimes, not but happy. love reminds us that we should forgive them. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, always and, forgive. And always pray too, as, as we talk about with Jesus. So that's the focus for this week. I'm excited to hear about it. And uh, you know, we're talking about NASCAR a little bit. What if Noe maybe asks us some questions? Sure. Do you think you can answer some NASCAR I questions? I doubt I could answer a I, single I, one right. I doubt I could answer any too, but maybe we'll give it a try. How about okay. that? We'll bring sounds Emily fun. out here okay. and we'll have some fun with it, okay? All right, sounds fun. All right, boys, girls, see if you can answer these questions, okay? Yeah, see if you're better than me. <laughs> That's right. But well, we're praying for you, we love you, and we forgive you, boys and girls. All right, Amen. enjoy Sunday celebration. Bye. All right, let's see how much NASCAR trivia y'all know. All right, here we go. Question number one. Who is the most popular driver in NASCAR history? Dale Earnhardt. You can guess. Yeah? No, nope, that is not right. It's not Dale Earnhardt. Go ahead, Ben. Daryl Waltrip. Not Daryl Waltrip. Complete opposite. He was very unpopular. Oh, <laughs> but he was popular with me. I know him. Um, I'm going to go with... I, I want to say Junior, but I'm going to go with Kyle Petty. Wasn't Kyle Petty? Oh, Richard Petty. Was it Richard? It was not Richard. Oh. It was Bill Elliott from Dawsonville, Georgia. Bill oh Elliott. man. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Y'all got y'all got two more questions. All right, here we go. Do you still love me? I, I still love y'all. Do you okay. forgive us? I, I forgive y'all okay. for not knowing it. Okay. It's Thank okay. You. Thank you. Just right. one question. All right. All right. Here we go. Question number two. So Dale Earnhardt is the most winningest driver at Daytona. Uh -huh. Who is the second most winningest driver at Daytona? Y'all want me to go first? Sure. Jeff Gordon. Not Jeff Gordon. I, 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 let's try Jimmy John Johnson. Yeah. It is not Jimmy Johnson. I don't know any more NASCAR people names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. 
<laughs> the correct answer is Tony Stewart. Tony, Tony Stewart. Stewart! Number 20. Oh, yeah. Number 20. Home Depot. Yeah. He's a, he's a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. It's okay. Y'all didn't know that. We still love y'all. Okay. Still forgive y'all. Right. Okay. You got one more question to redeem y'all selves, all okay. right? All right. Hey boys and girls, hey families, welcome again for joining us celebration. We are here in the pit, right here in the raceway. So obviously you know when cars come into the pit, they get their tires changed, they get some new oil, anything that they need to do to repair the car ready to get back into the race. So we're going to do that before we get back into the race, before we get back into the sunny celebration. We're going to take a little pit right here, a little stop right here in the pit and do our, our pledges because that means a lot to us, a lot to our faith even to the racing and to the community God, uh, and God as well. And it's also important to participate in pledges. So we have three specific ones, so we're gonna take part in that right now. So thank you for joining us in our pledges. No, he's gonna lead us in our first one. All right, attention, salute, pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. All right, now I'm going to lead y'all on the Christian flag. So here we go. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One brotherhood uniting all Christians in service and love. Thank you. Now we're going to do the pledge to the Bible. Miss Ann's going to lead that. Miss Heather is going to hold the Bible up for us. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against him. All right, here we go, final question. Hmm, what should I? Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is a good one right uh -oh. here. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, what is a famous racing movie that came out in the 90s but is not Talladega Nights? Oh, man. Everybody knows Talladega Nights. There's another NASCAR related movie. You're asking a movie question, so you know I know this one. Well, okay, because I don't know it. Days of Thunder. Oh! It yeah. is Days of Thunder! With Tom Cruise! <laughs> but Tom hey, Cruise, yeah. I forgive you, and I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgive y'all and love y'all too. Okay, thank you, thank you. We're not, we're not experts, uh, sorry. Those are good questions, I know. Thanks, man. <laughs> Days of Thunder! Days of Thunder. Hey, let's reenact the scene at the end where uh, Tom Cruise and his crew chief are racing down the raceway. You remember that? I remember that. the end of the movie? Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'll race you. Let's go. Come on. Just like at the end of the movie, they're racing. They're running. They're running. Woo! 